I'm going to walk you through exactly what I eat in a day to lose body fat. If you're anything like me, you've been confused and frustrated about exactly what to eat when it comes to getting lean. I spent almost four years trying to figure this out on my own when I was getting started, just to end up not much further ahead. At that point, I was almost ready to give up, but I made the decision that has completely changed my life, and I'll touch on that more in a second. My goal is to compress 10 years of knowledge and working with over 600 clients into this video on fat loss for you. This is the first thing I consume every single day. It is electrolytes, some fish oils, and I have some collagen and creatine. I then wait 60 to 90 minutes or so, and usually will have my first cup of coffee of the day. Meal number one for me comes around 8.30, which is about three hours or so after I get up. As you can see, it is some heck chicken sausages and some pineapple. I normally have some spinach with this as well, but I have kept this breakfast pretty much the same for six months. Lean protein sauce, some fruit, and some form of veg. Running out of spinach today, but we're all good. Oh, and that decision that I mentioned earlier that completely changed my life was hiring my first coach. They gave me structure, guidance, direction, and a clear plan and I actually ended up spending less time in the gym and trying to figure nutrition out, but made more progress in four months than I had in four years. Meal number two is my post-workout meal, and it's usually something really quick and easy or a pre-prepared meal. Today, I'm having some eggs, just three, some veg, I've got some oatmeal here, some strawberries, and a Coke at zero. There are two numbers that are more important than all the rest when it comes to losing body fat. The first one is your calories. The second one is the amount of protein you consume on a daily basis. If you want to lose body fat, take your body weight in pounds and times that number by around 12. That's a great starting point. And then take one gram of protein and allocate that to each pound of body weight. If you are overweight or obese, instead of allocating one gram per pound of body weight, allocate one gram per centimeter in height. So if you're six feet, that's around 180 centimeters, around 180 grams of protein. I wish I were big. So this is my meal number three. Now this comes in the afternoon time, usually about three hours after my sort of post-workout meal. Because I'm in between meetings, back-to-back -back calls all day for the most part, it needs to be quick, easy, and convenient. So I have typically a protein yogurt, a protein bar, and some sort of fruit. This gets me 40 grams of protein, and again, it's quick, easy, and convenient. No stress. Now you have your targets from the previous clip in terms of protein and calories, so now you need a plan to hit them. Should you fast? Should you go low carb? Should you go high carb? Should you go low fat? All good questions, doesn't matter. When two diets have been compared with calories and protein equated, none have been shown to be superior to another. So the only thing that matters is finding a sustainable approach that works for you. Eating quick and easy breakfast items and convenient through the day items is what works for me. So that's why I set my day up like this. This is meal number four and my biggest of the day, which is a chicken and pasta dish. Nice, easy and simple. This is my biggest meal of the day because that's when I'm the most hungry. I can get through the day no problem with little to no food, especially the first half. But this ties into my point again of doing what works for you. I eat more food in the evening because it's more advantageous for me to stick to. Set up a plan that allows you to hit your calorie and protein goal in a way that makes sense for you. You'll never have to worry about sticking to a plan again. My final meal of the evening is a simple protein shake with some creatine in it. I'm just using water, you can use a milk if you prefer. It does give it a little bit of a better flavor, but this is going to round off my evening meal. This is the final thing I'm eating tonight, which is a bit of chocolate. At last. Now, why would you include a bit of chocolate in a fat loss plan? Well, because I like it. I like it a lot. Calories are simply a budget, and this is more expensive than 100 grams of broccoli or 100 grams of chicken breast, but ultimately allows me to stay focused and on plan and in line with my targets. If you enjoyed this video, off to the side is going to be what happens to your body when you actually eat 10,000 calories. Go and check it out, one of our best videos ever.